Thumper's Nighttime Adventure, a Disney story, read to you today by Gammy. One beautiful day, Thumper was playing outside in the sunshine. As he was exploring the forest, he spotted his friend Dizzy, the possum. Hiya, Thumper said. Want to come play? Dizzy yawned. That sounds fun, he sleepily said. But I'm getting ready for a nap. Maybe next time, okay? Okay, Thumper said, and he scampered off. Thumper and Dizzy had been friends for a while, so Thumper knew the possum napped a lot during the day. But would Dizzy really rather sleep than play with him? Later, Thumper asked his papa, Why is Dizzy always so sleepy? Ah, said Papa. Well, he's not always sleepy. Possums are nocturnal. That means they sleep a lot during the day, but then they are awake at night when we bunnies are sleeping. Papa led Thumper to a nearby cave. These bats are nocturnal too, Papa said. Right now, they are getting ready to rest, but they spend most of the night flying outside looking for food. Wow, thought Thumper. Awake all night? No wonder Dizzy was so sleepy. That evening, as the bunnies chased fireflies, Thumper thought about what his father had said. Soon, Dizzy will be waking up. Thumper thought, I wonder what nocturnal animals do all night. When Thumper and his sisters hopped home for bedtime, Thumper thought about the exciting things he missed while he was sleeping. Did the bats play tag under the stars? Did the possum family have midnight picnics? Before long, Thumper's sisters were sound asleep. Soon after, his mama and papa started to snore. Thumper was still wide awake. Slowly, silently, Thumper hopped to the burrow entrance and poked his head out to the cool night breeze. The moon was bright. The stars twinkled. Thumper went just outside the burrow and sniffed the air. He hopped a little farther and sniffed again. Thumper knew he shouldn't go out without his parents' permission, but he couldn't stop thinking about the nighttime fun that he was missing. Thumper's curiosity soon got the better of him, and he bounded quickly down the path. Before Thumper knew it, he had hopped all the way to the possum's favorite tree. Dizzy was very surprised to see Thumper. Shouldn't you be at home sleeping? He asked. Thumper giggled. I came to see what other animals do at night, he said. I've never been out this late before. Well, Dizzy said, my family is just about to eat breakfast. Do you want to join us? So Thumper had a late night breakfast with the possum family. They had the same light berries Thumper usually ate during the day. I guess nighttime breakfast isn't so different at all, Thumper thought. After thanking the possums, Thumper hopped away to find more nocturnal friends. As Thumper walked through the darkness, he was startled by a voice. Who's there? Friend Owl asked from a nearby tree stump. It's Thumper, the bunny replied. Would you like to play? Can't play. Looking for grass to fix up my nest, the owl said. Very busy night, you know. Can I look too, Thumper asked. Together they gathered up dried grass for the inside of Friend Owl's nest. It was just like the grass on Thumper's bed. Thank you, Friend Owl called as he flew away. Thumper hopped down to the pond where he saw some skunks. What are you up to? Thumper asked. We're off to take a bath, said one skunk. Some animals think that skunks stink, said the second skunk. Not us, said the third. We take baths every night. The skunks walked over to a shallow edge of the pond where Thumper and his sisters took their baths too. Thumper could take a bath any time. So he waved to the skunks and he kept on hopping. On the far side of the pond, Thumper saw a mama duck and her ducklings snuggling together. Thumper yawned. The ducks looked warm and comfy and it was getting awful late. Up in a tree, Thumper saw a squirrel and a chipmunk sound asleep. They seemed so peaceful and cozy. Hmm, thought Thumper. They don't seem worried about missing nighttime fun. Thumper stood very still and listened to the sounds of the night. The crickets were chirping softly. Frogs were croaking down by the river. Now and then, wings fluttered through the darkness overhead. Thumper knew they were the sounds of nighttime animals all around. 
but they were also sleepy sounds. At that moment, all Thumper wanted was to be in his burrow, snuggled up with his family. Thumper hurried home. He hopped silently inside, expecting to find his family sleeping, just as he had left them. Instead, his sisters rushed to meet him, squeezing him from all sides. Oh, Thumper, exclaimed Daisy, we were starting to worry. Thank goodness you're back, cried Tessie. Mama and Papa had sterner words for Thumper. Daisy is right. We were very worried. You could have gotten hurt, Papa said. Papa was about to go out looking for you, Mama added. I'm sorry, Thumper said. He hadn't meant to worry them, but he knew he shouldn't have left without asking. I just wonder what it would be like to be nocturnal. Papa patted Thumper's head. I understand that you were curious, but you must promise never, ever, ever to go out at night without permission again. I promise, Thumper said. Thumper's parents gave him extra chores as punishment. He would have to find blackberries for dinner, gather some grass for the bunny's bed, and take his sisters to the bathing pool. As Thumper got ready for bed, he realized that doing chores was a little bit like his nocturnal adventure. He had eaten blackberries with the possums, collected grass with his friend Owl, and visited with the very clean skunks. I guess I wasn't missing anything after all, he said to himself. Even though his nighttime adventure had been exciting, nothing was better than snuggling down in his warm, cozy burrow for a good night's sleep. The end. We have so much more to learn. Be blessed.